This is part two of modeling a grand piano. And uh, if you're just coming in now, I am providing the reference images uh, for this in the top view. Let's see if I can hide everything. Well, whatever. <laughs> Let's look at the wireframe. Wire uh, there's an image here. And uh, there's also the side image as well. All right, so uh, those are available in part one. All right, so this is where we left off pretty much. And this is not going to uh, follow any particular grand piano, although I have been looking at uh, this image. And I guess I'm roughly basing it off this for ideas, but it's not, it's not gonna be exactly the same. Um, and so we're just going to continue uh, with this. And so what I wanna do is I wanna separate some of these items out, do some work. So. I'm going to select a piece of this, so I'm in edge selection, just any piece and go control L and P and separate it by selection. And then I'm going to set the origin of geometry, so on this piece. <laughs> All right, so I want to just bring this up a little bit. And uh, I do want it projecting out front. And let's uh, make it from the front view itself. And I'll go into edit mode and select it all and scale in the accent. I want to hold down shift. I, I, want, to, I want it to protrude out the sides um, a little bit. That's well, maybe even a little bit more than that. Scale in the accent and hold down shift to you know, go in smaller increments. <clears throat> so something like that. And then I'm going to take this piece again. And I think I'm going to be using this. Well, let's uh, shift D and copy it. I'm gonna bring it up and I'm gonna edit that. So let's select, actually let's just select this front face here and bring it in, I want it under there. This is gonna be where the keys go. Let's select these outer edges. And I'm gonna scale this in the X. Pull them in till I see them and then I'm gonna scale them back till they just sort of go in there. I'm not gonna worry about uh, the back faces. Uh, I'm not sure how far I want this to go in. I think I think we can bring it forward a little bit. And then, before I do anything further, I might go into here and grab the bottom face of this one if I can get to it. And I'm going to have that one go all the way down like that. I could be getting rid of back faces or, or unseen faces, and maybe I should. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Okay, on this one, let's go into this. Um, <clears throat> let me just have a look here. I want to create these things. I'm going to have them go all the way to that back face, maybe even underneath. And so the way I'll do that is I'm going to put in two edge loops, and I'm going to scale in, scale in the X until I like the position. Maybe around there. Now I could be looking at the diagram. I'm not doing that very much, you know. This region right here. All right, but that's that's close enough for my liking. Um, so what I could do is I could select these top faces here and E to extrude and bring them up like this. Let's have a look at that. Um, I could then come in with another couple edge loops, maybe to tighten that up. Let's see, oh, not too far, like just maybe around there. Let's see how the bevel is holding up. And then let's take this front edge here and this front edge and control B. We'll bevel that a little bit so we get that effect. And let's also do something on this. Let's take that front edge and bevel that quite a bit, like that. All right, so this is getting a little bit nicer looking. All right, I have another look at this. So yeah, it comes up to close to where the curve is. This is slightly different at the front of that, but I'm not worried about that. Okay, so I could live with that as the as the as the front. I'll just think about this. I think this is 
this piece is going to come back further now that I think about it. Yeah, I'm going to have it come back to about there. And try to put a leg somewhere. I might change that. I want to do some work on this. Right here, I'm going to put an edge loop and bring it up to about there. And grab this front face and extrude it out a little ways. And then in edge selection, I'm going to grab that top edge. And uh, is that the top edge? Let me uh, make sure there's not another one there. Yeah, there's another one there. So what's this one doing here? Or maybe just, let's get rid of that for the time being. Shift, Alt, and click it. X, dissolve edges. And then I'll just grab this one. Actually, I just need the front part. Control B. And let's give this a nice curve. And let's see what I've done. If I've made any changes. So that part will come out like that. Okay, I can have some logo there, and I'll have the keys on there. And let's do something, well, okay, now. Um, I want to have a, um, a stand sim similar to this picture, okay? Like this, and sort of with a, a space so that this thing could, could fall down and be either flush with this surface or, or a little lower so the lid could go down as well. So I want to make that. I'm just wondering if it's long enough in back there, but I could, uh, I could still do something with that. It could be longer, even if it was longer. And this piece, I had, I wanted this piece previously to line up with this, you know, the top flap to come down, but it, it wouldn't have to. But um, I may, um, what I might do is maybe I'll grab this front face and just pull it forward just a little bit so there's still a bit of a gap. Then not going to really do much of anything there. Um, let's go ahead and, and work on this. Um, okay, so what am I thinking? I'm thinking two edge loops like that. Would that be wide enough for my music stand? Maybe. How, how, how wide is it here? It's wider than that, eh? Almost like there's a, I don't know, like a quarter and then two quarters and another quarter. So let's look at that. Let's, let's scale this in the X. Let's do it like that. You can do anything you really want. Okay, now I just want to figure out how I'm going to do this. I think I need an edge loop up here. And, um... Probably need a back piece, but maybe what I'll do is delete these faces. Yeah, I can't get under there right now, so let's um, let's do Shift H so that that's the only thing I got. So if I delete these faces, or do I want to do it that way? You know, I might. What if I do put an edge loop in here? Just for a very small piece back there. Ah, it just seems too not long enough. Let's get rid of that for now. And just I'm going to pull this out and then I'm going to bring everything back and I'm going to consider what this would look like. as much. All right, let's take a little break and let me think about this for a minute. All right, well, I'm just going to go with, with what I've got. <clears throat> and so, uh, I will delete these faces. And then in edge selection, I'm just going to, well, I'm gonna get, what am I going to do? I guess I'm going to join these there. And I'll join them here. And I'll, uh, I'll rebuild this and then and we'll see. So click those edges and I have to make a face. And I have to make a face. So I have that. All right. 
and then what do we do? Then let's let's um, let's do this. Let's take both of these pieces here, and uh, let's go Shift D to make a copy. And let's scale these in the Y, and then scale them in the Z, and then move them back. And then uh, how about just uh, bridge edge loops? And then maybe that's a bit too. Well, I just want something that the the, um, the little music stand can lean on. Let's do Control L. Let's see if I bring it further to the back. Um, let's let's just take that piece. Shift D. <clears throat> Rotate Z 90 and let's scale this in the Y and move it over. Not sure if it needs this or not. Grab that piece and we'll do a control L and we'll scale this in the X. <clears throat> We'll scale in the Z. Just little thin, thin piece there. So there's the center line. So I'll put it, I'll put it there. You know what? Maybe I'll put it on those lines. In there. Select the whole thing and Control N in case so my polys are flipped. Let's have a look at what I've built so far. Boy, that seems rather big. And I can fix that. It does seem almost too big for my liking. Let's uh, bring back the rest of the piano. Yeah, I don't, I don't want it that, that wide, I don't think. So I'm just going to take that face and this face, and I'm just going to start bringing them in. Scale out in the X. I think I want a smaller area there, like that. Okay, so that's cool. Uh, let's now uh, maybe select, uh, say, that edge there. What happened here? What did I do here? Ah, could I move this? Can I get rid of these X dissolve edges? That's better. All right, let's uh, select that edge because it's the width of the hole. And I'm gonna Shift D and P make it a new object. So there it is. It's at the origin of geometry. And I'll go into edit mode and we'll select it and I'll scale it in the X a little bit smaller. And let's uh, E to extrude and pull it up. Imagine we're making our music stand out of that. And um, I can make it a little narrower too. Scale this in the X. Well, not too much. Let's extrude back just a small, maybe a bit, a bit thicker than that. It's a piece of wood. Let's see what that what that's like. So imagine that thing laid flat in there. If it was to lay flat, maybe this piece is up too high, or is it too thick? What if I take this? And I bring it down, then I gotta worry about those, but let's let's do this first. So let's say it did that. And then say I took uh, this, control L to select them all. And then what if I just move them down? And scale in the Z, make them even a bit thinner so it looks like they fit. Rough, roughly fit. Let's see what that looks like. You know, and then this thing comes down, there's a bit more room for it. Um, it's actually not bad, it's inherited the bevel, so I might just leave it like that. Um, and I would rotate it, I'm just trying to think if there's something else I would want. To hold the, the sheet music on here, um, sometimes there's a lip coming out from this, and it just rests on that and then against that. But I like the idea, this will be tilted, of actually building it onto this itself. Like say I do uh, an edge loop here, right down near the bottom. 
And I do another one. And then maybe two. Scaling the X. Why is that too much? And then I extrude this just a small amount like that. So there's a little lip there. And then when it's when this thing is rotated, the sheet music could sit against that. So I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this in the axis like that. And I don't think I'm gonna do anything to support it at the back. Um, actually, before I rotate it, let's put a mock piece of paper on there. Let's, let's, uh, let's actually go into edit mode and grab that. Shift D and P. I often do that just to reuse uh, items. And we'll scale this in the X and imagine it's a, like a, a book of some sort. And um, let's grab it. I'm going to edit mode. And what am I in face? So I'll go to edge. I'm going to pull the edge up. Not that much would happen there. So it sticks over. Again, I'm sort of looking at, at this. All right. Select it all, scale in the X a bit more. All right. And. It's not necessarily a piece of paper, it might be a little booklet, so I'll give it a little bit of thickness, like that. I'm not saying I'm gonna keep this necessarily, but just, just you know, to see how it would work. Okay, so it would sort of lay on there. Now, if I was really doing this, you'd probably, I guess UV map it now, but let's just grab the two of them and rotate in the X, do that. We'll rotate a bit more. Oh, yeah, maybe not too much though. <clears throat> there, and that would sit like that. And then that would fold down. You take the sheet music off. Now, if I was to come in here and, uh, and I get rid of those edges now. I don't actually need those edges. That's good enough. I was just thinking of if I rounded these now. Control, Control B, and just see if I like the effect of this and how much it affects the bevel. <clears throat> and put smoothing on. That's pretty good. All right. Okay, cool. All right, so that can come down, and that flaps over. And that's what we got so far. All righty, I, I do like that. <clears throat> With that done, I'm just debating if I want to try and do any more kind of a bevel on this. That'll take well. And I think I do want to do that. I'm not worried about that. By the way, let's take a copy of this bottom piece that I had put in before and let's bring it a little bit higher up. That could be the bottom and this could be like the, uh, the, I don't know, the soundboard or whatever. And then all the strings and everything would be in there. So it fills it up a little bit more. And then what I'll do is I'll just place my 3D cursor maybe right there. I'm gonna bring in a cube and scale it. And I'm gonna build some kind of an arm that would hold that up. All right. So do it like that. And then maybe I'll uh, I'll take that top face and just pull it up. So I start getting a sense for this. Okay. And uh, I don't know what exactly I want to do with this thing. Um, what I sometimes like to do is um, shift D and make a copy and then um, uh, 
hide it or move it to another layer and then I'll rotate this and I'll just see how I'm doing. I want it to come out of the wall here. And let's see how well I can, maybe let's scale it very well. Eh? I'm gonna just Alt S and scale it. I guess I could. and pull it in that's okay and what if I just uh, bring an edge loop up to there and maybe more I'll hit GG and slide it up I don't know if that was necessary and I don't know if I just warp things let's look from the front all right, let's E and S and do that. Grab that. Maybe now. I just want to have a look at, yeah, maybe now I will uh, give it a bevel. Maybe just one, see, see how that looks to give it a shine. It doesn't have to be an overly flashy thing, it's just, it's just there. Okay, I mean, I could do other things to it. We could put, uh, put an edge loop And then uh, Control B, and then uh, E, Alt S. Oops, not too much. Do something like. Do we want something like that in there? Does it look stupid? I don't know. You tell me. Let's pull that down. Pull one up here. And uh, I could bevel these. Just looking for things to do now, I guess. And maybe I'll put an edge loop in here and here. In case I, uh, I don't know, would I smooth this? I don't know why that's there. All right. Cool. Let's, uh, have a look at this through the camera. Let's, let's do a shift Z. Oh, let's get rid of the other one. What's going on here? That's what it's looking like so far. Maybe I'll do a quick uh, render of that just to, to get a sense and then we'll probably leave it at that and then we'll come back and start working on the keys. I don't think I'm going to do anything in here and I know probably some people really want to see that. Um, we'll see, but probably I would do um, the keyboard and legs and see what other little body pieces I might be missing and uh, and leave it at that all right so i'm going to do uh, uh, a quick render and i'll be back i did do a quick render and then i noticed one thing and that is i really i feel like these things need to be a little bit wider and maybe i'm wrong but i just i just want them to be so i'm just going to fix that before we go any further so what i'll do is i will select this edge because that's sort of holding the bevel in and that yeah. 
you know what, maybe we'll get rid of these edges for the time being. Dissolve edges, just make it a little bit easier on, us, on ourselves. X, dissolve edges. And then what I'll do is I'll just shift and click there. Yeah, that's only gonna get that, is it? Yeah. Maybe all I need to do is take that. No, you know what? We'll not, we won't do it that way. We'll try to do it that way. We'll take those edges and that and that one. And those edges and that one. And let's scale in the axis where we'll hold shift. We'll bring it in a little ways. We've done it on both sides. Okay, we'll just leave it at that. If we have a look at the diagram below, I don't know if I'm closer or a little bit off. I'm a little off center, but that's that's totally fine. Let's go with that. And uh, I'll come back to my camera, and uh, I, I'll do I'll do my render now, and then we'll come back. All right. Well, this is what we have so far, and uh, it's not looking too bad. Um, we have left to do the keyboard. That's going to take some work. Hopefully, we can do some of it, and then copy and copy. We'll do the legs. And what else will we do? The keyboard, the legs, and, and then I guess we'll just see. We'll just see what, uh, what more we have to do. All right, so thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again soon.